What's up, everyone, and welcome to Player Expose, the series that will follow gaming, esports, and streamer news every week and report on the biggest stories there is. This week in gaming, CS2 has been released, Overwatch 2 Season 7 has been leaked, and League of Legends Worlds has found a headliner. CSGO has dominated the Steam charts since its induction, and now that CS2 has just been launched, we're bound to see more players than ever before. With the new game comes new case openings and skins. XQC claimed to have dropped the first knife skin in CS2, and then proceeded to acquire more and more rare skins throughout his stream. Dr. Disrespect also claims to have opened the first ever red stat track in CS2 as well. Have you tried out CS2 yet? Let us know if you like it better than CSGO or not in the comments below. Overwatch 2 Season 7 roadmap was accidentally leaked on a stream and gave us info on all new features. The new Mythic skin for the Battle Pass will be going to Hanzo, an all new control map named Samoa is coming, and a collaboration between Overwatch and Diablo will be happening with what looks like a Lilith Moira skin. League of Legends Worlds is getting closer each day, and they have finally revealed who will be headlining this year's Worlds Anthem. New Jeans will be headlining Worlds with the all new song, Gods. <laughs> On the esports side, Valorant's Roster Mania is still in full effect. New Overwatch buffs and nerfs might switch up the meta, and CS2 is starting to gear up for its competitive scene. Valorant's offseason has been a roller coaster for NA fans. After EG Cinderella run to win Worlds, many people thought that they would stick together, but the org seems to want the players to take a 50% pay cut, which none are happy about. Furthermore, EG players have received offers from other orgs that they would gladly take, but EG has denied every single offer and is putting them in quote unquote a contract jail. From winning Worlds to now being back to a meme, what is Evil Geniuses going to do? Overwatch 2 Season 7 will be looking at changing some heroes, specifically Zarya's ally shield, reverting Mei's primary fire before her deep chill passive was introduced, and reducing Torbjord's rate of fire, so maybe we'll be seeing some meta shifts in Overwatch. And Counter-Strike 2's competitive scene will be gearing up and should start sometime next year in 2024, so stay tuned on more news for that. And on the streamer side, Nadia has been banned from Warzone, Kaide shared some incredible news, and Aiden Ross lied once again. Nadia, who's known for her Warzone gameplay and having multiple instances of cheating around her, has been banned on Warzone for quote-unquote no apparent reason. Fans are wondering if the ban is legit or just a ploy for attention. Kaide has been suffering from leukemia since March, and has now confirmed that she's finished chemotherapy for it, so congratulations to Kaide. Aiden Ross trolled the internet by claiming Kim Jong-un would be on stream with him on kick. It was in fact not Kim Jong-un, but a complete stranger who dressed up to look like him and frankly didn't even look like him at all. Aiden had more than 330,000 people join the stream, only to be fooled immediately by the streamer and most of them immediately leaving. Well, that's it for this week's Player Expose. What would you like us to cover next time? Let us know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching.